Today I want to show you the usage of the combinator in the master bus on the XR18, MR18, the total XR series, MR series and X32, M32 is the same. So first we have to load the combinator effects, so we go to effects. So there are two combinators, stereo combinator, this one is uh, the one we need and a dual combinator. So the difference between those is the stereo combinator is uh, meant for use in stereo. The dual combinator you can assign to two different channels on your mix and uh, control the settings of the combinator for each channel individually. I mean, I mean you can have one on the kick drum and one on the snare and you have uh, individual settings for each of these uh, two channels. So that's always the difference between stereo and dual effects. So stereo you can control the effects for both channels with one knobs, knob and uh, on the dual you will um, have knobs for each uh, channel A and a B. So when you, uh, for example, create the mix, uh, set the mix to 56% on this one and go to B, you will see that the mix on the B has a different value. So that's the difference, but we will use the Okay, next you have to click on where you want to insert it. You can insert on bus, on channels, but uh, I mean since it's a stereo, stereo effect you will use it on stereo channels. Buses, if you have linked them to, for example, bus 1 and 2 to a stereo bus, uh, but I will use it, I'm using it only on the main. So main, then you will click insert and uh, this also has to be activated that the effects is in the chain. Yeah. Okay. Then we go to the effect and I will explain a little bit the settings. So we have a mixed setting. The so mix is 100%. That means you will hear the total process signal. If you lower the mix, for example, 50%, you will have 50% unprocessed signal and 50% process signal. So this is the difference here. I think it makes sense uh, to have it on 100%, but if you like parallel compression, then you can uh, reduce the mix value. This is the attack time. I will keep it mainly on the default values. This is a release time. Um, I'm leaving it to auto most of the time. Then we have a spectrum balance control. This is um, hard to explain. So you have five bands and I think this, the spectrum balance control will um, give more weight on the individual bands based on the signal. Yeah, So it makes sometimes the mids louder or the bass, so uh, this is some automation on these uh, band, mm, band levels. Yeah, I'm not using it, so you can turn that off and I think it's uh, best uh, if you use it in the master to turn it off. So spectrum balance control is not a good idea since it has some unpredictable results yeah, on your signal. So crossover, you can um, change, basically control the width of the low band, but um, it makes, to give the low band more space, the other bands narrower. Yeah? So if you turn that up or turn it down, you can make the low bands small, uh, smaller or wider. Yeah? narrower or wider. 
Okay, so and we have a global ratio. Uh, it's on three by default. You can make a three point five, four, and also to a limiting. Yeah, uh, for musical well, uh, for musical setting, I will keep it on three. Yeah. Then we have um, these switches here. Spectrum balance control is off, so this does not have any effect. The speed on how fast it reacts. Then we have 40 ATB, that's um, how steep the separation is between these the bands. Yeah? I don't know what the setting is if you turn that off. Um, and be careful if you click on them of these uh, knobs, you will hear it on your uh, PA, yeah, because it's it's inserted in the master, yeah, and it can can create some pops and uh, uh, loud noises in your PA. So you better keep the master down if you uh, make some settings here. Then we have a solo. I will demonstrate and a bypass. Okay, I think uh, it's time to start some uh, some music, and we will go through how to set this guy up. Okay, let's go back to our Excited and the Combinator. So, what you see here is the uh, input level to the Combinator and the output level on the Combinator. You have to be careful if you make your effect louder than the input, it always sounds better to our ears. That's our, how our uh, check, check. Pre One, two, perceived two, two. loudness works. Okay, I have to check, switch. Check, check. Okay. Mm. okay, so I try to keep the level uh, the same yeah, on input and output, not to be fooled by my ears. Uh, because louder is better always for the ear. Okay, now here on the band gain reduction, you see low band, uh, a little bit higher band, mid band, upper mids, and high band. Uh, it's doing nothing currently. Okay, you can switch here for each band. To control the band, the low band, the mid band, the high mid, and you can also make a solo. Do anything? It's okay. Now it's interesting here on the band game. It's like sync of an equalizer. You can make this. Bass louder, so this is basically it's not compressing, and we can make the high louder. So, so you can control your mix a little bit. If you want more low end, you can um, turn up the gain like on an equalizer, but this is, uh, if you set it up correctly, it's an equalizer with a uh, compressor in one. Okay, now when I do the threshold, this is a global for all bands together. Sometimes it will start compressing, now you see it's working. And if we turn up the gain, We can fetch up the compression. What I will do, I will make each band a little bit louder, given some threshold. Then on the input, so I will turn down the gain a little bit. This is C 
the I've put it on bypass so it's not working or you don't hear the process signal. Okay now the song starts again. Okay, that's now the process signal. Here we see the level meters, so how hard we are hitting the, the outputs. So this is uh, showing the automatic spectrum balance which we are not using. Maybe we can turn it on for a, a demonstration. You see here that the combinator is pushing up some the bands where the most uh, level is happening, is occurring. But I think it's not good in, a, in this uh, whole mix, it's unpredictable. If you think you have too much, uh, not too much, uh, you want more bass, you can turn up this bass. But I won't need it, so... This is basically the usage of the Combinator in the main. I think it clues up together. A um, little more the mix yeah, makes it uh, clearer, I think, if you use the settings right. Not necessarily louder, but uh, more dense mix. Yeah. Okay guys, that's it. Thank you for uh, viewing this video and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you.